Hello, so today we're going to take a look at the feature of pin-based sharing for Google Drive and Google Docs. This is extremely useful when you need to share documents with someone outside your organization that does not have a Google account. We're going to look at this demonstration through two perspectives, one as an admin and one as an end user from outside the organization. Now as an admin, you need to ensure that sharing is enabled by first clicking on apps, select Google Workspace, click Drive and Docs, click on Sharing Settings, ensure that you selected the correct OU on the left, and edit your sharing options. We're going to turn sharing on now so that files will be shared outside the organization and save the changes. Great, now that sharing is enabled, we're going to try and share this sample test document with someone who does not have a Google account and belongs outside our organization. So hit the share button, copy the email address. Now for this demonstration, we're just going to give him editor access and hit send. Here you are notified that you're sharing the document with someone who does not belong to your organization. For the purposes of this demonstration, we're just going to share it anyway. And here, he has received the invitation to edit the document. When he clicks on the link, he'll be asked to verify his identity, and this is done through a verification code he can obtain by hitting send. With the verification code received, he just needs to copy. And paste the code here. And there, you can see that he's granted edit access. Now, a couple of things to note here. Firstly, the edit access for folders is restricted for visitors in that they cannot upload content. However, it is possible for them to inherit edit echoes across all files within the folder. Next, visitor sessions will last for a period of seven days, after which the recipient will need to re-verify their identity through the PIN verification flow. They cannot have more than one active visitor account session per device or browser at a time. If he signs in with a second session, he'll be silently signed out of the first. When visitor accounts are deleted, they lose access to all files previously shared with them. If they recreate the visitor account, files and folders will need to be reshared with them. Also, all their previously made changes and comments will be attributed to an unknown user.